times, 1-2, lost 2. Yeah, and I think it made sense for the style that um, our Mad Lions enemy masters was playing, which is, or not, sorry, Mad Lions, um, Giants? Uh, Mobster uh, Riders. Mobster Riders, yeah. sorry, my brain lagged. Not ever. But, um, uh, from Scuttle to Scuttle. Looks like Esmo will decide to back away because of that exact eventuality. Spyro and Niski trading here in the mid lane. Foam played and coming up just in time to keep Spyro in it. And so Heretics will be able to walk away with the prize that was their scuttle crap. You still have to wait for Esmo to get it. Uh, oh, Spyro oh. traded here by Niski. Flash, then it's played. Niski flashes away from it. The trigger seeds enough to keep Spyro alive. The ignite tick from Trimby. And down went Niski in the end. Shryo died as well. I think it was the autos from the creeps. Arr. It was Niski's Azir that really had that hero moment at the Baron, but now Isma topside. Wonder pops the ghost, flashes away from the wall of isn't stunned. Isma going for the chase though. Wonder has no sums left, but he has a trigger seed from Yankos and a Trimby to boot. Irrelevant, the first target. They go in with the destiny as well. Wonder just trying to provide that little bit of extra vision. It's going to be hard to get away. In the end, Heretics decide to back away with Luan coming across. Isma dashing back forward. Another spear hits onto Yankos, of Element doing everything he can to just put that little bit of poke damage down. And now Trimby goes in. The shot, so he's very able to trade back relatively well, but Luan wants more here, just misses it. Trimby going back in with the Zenith Blade as well. Yankos with a root caller, Zviro going forward. Luan flashes, crashes down, and Zviro is forfeit. SK get their second in the mid lane. And right now, despite not even... As Heretics, you're likely to lose it unless you can find some good damage before the fight really begins. And Nitsky's looking for exactly that as Jankos is chunked out. Look at that, that's half his health from just the crack. And Trimby flashing forward with the Zenith Blade. Nitsky still has a flash, the Solar Flare coming down. Chain of Corruption for the follow up, and Mom is called to the party. Zvyro takes the kill, and it's great for Heretics. SK overextend. That was beautiful from Heretics. I saw Trimby go in, and I was like, I don't know. that SK was starting to extend has shrunk quite a lot. Trimby getting chased down here by Luan. He's stunned up with a Shadowing Strike, crashed down for a little bit more CC, and Trimby down to about 200 HP. Irrelevant dashing forward. Isma going in as well. The Solar Flare hits onto Irrelevant, but he almost has that Meganar back up. Rahel joins the fray, and SK will settle with a go the long way around the river here, and it looks like Heretics have given up the Ghost on the Rift Hell. They'll just get the push in the mid lane. Isma picks up the eye. Wonder gonna get jumped on by Niski. There's still a tower standing there, but Wonder, even with the Ghost, does still have the Flash. We'll use it now. Isma didn't jump the wall. I feel there could have been more of a chase, but with Heretics moving up the river, perhaps they call it off for now. SK have already been caught out over extending once. Wonder under the tower. Is he gonna be able to recall? He stops his base, and now Wonder's done for. Destiny! My name is Isma. Redemption coming down. Trimby looking for the solar flare. Irrelevant with a good wallop. Stop Trimby in his tracks. It was nicely played by SK because they knew that they'd gotten that jump on towards Wonder. They could again separate Heretics from getting on towards that top side. That's why we saw Heretics playing so aggressive into the river to try and deny SK getting to the top side. But now you got the turret taken, but Heretics have collapsed. I think SK thought more of Heretics would stay around the mid lane. Niski's going to try and rocket jump his way away. Flackhead here uses the blast cone. Trimby flashes and Niski uses his as well. But now Niski's in between two turrets. He's going to walk out of their range right now. Can he escape from here? A blast cone, a possibility, and he's left to his own devices. Way. <laughs> on a main, they know he's there. He's on a minion wave. So really looking to just pull his TP in. Luan will put a ward in that push. I actually think just around the corner. Trimby stepping forward. No TP invested yet. Ward cleared out by Heretics. Teleport game as they sit inside Baron. They're going to start up, try and get Niski's TP. And you have Daisy hits tank it as well, and the trigger seeds obviously giving you a lot of extra effective HP. Isma comes across. Niski has just cleared out the wave in the bot lane now, can path up. Trimby down to about half HP. Just from the poke from SK and from the Baron. So SK will back away. Niski didn't TP. Flash forward by Trimby, but he misses the Zenith Blade. It grazes Irrelevant's ankles, but does not connect. And now Niski has so much free time with the bot lane tier two, and Rahel has free time with the mid lane. Managed to uh, bounce back in the summer regular season as they start up the Baron right now. Heretic's trying to get in here. Zviro is still pushing out that bot lane. That Baron's already down to 5,000. Look at how far away Zviro is. The blast cone away. Luan engages, and they're doing the Baron and taking the fight at the same time. It's two already to SK. Wonder trying to get in. He has to flash away. Isma diving forward. It's an ace. For one, a Baron to boot as SK clean it up. SK decimate heretics off the back of the Baron. And with that, they'll just be able to walk it down the mid lane. The minion line is coming, and there's no one on heretics to defend. This is absolutely brutal scenes right now. With heretics team comp, once they fall behind with the triple AD carry threat, that's just nothing they can do. Every person is a running free kill, and you know, 
they don't have enough peel from the Ivan and Leona, they don't have enough front line, and it's just way, way, way too hard for them to do anything at this point. Well, we had a week to wait, but it seems like SK are still in fine form as they go 1-0 up over Heretics. Honestly, it felt like SK couldn't wait to get back into it. Yeah. That was really well played. Niski with some individual outplays in the mid lane, looking absolutely great. Like, I'm excited to see what the next game has. So am I. We're going to go to a short break, but we will be right back after this.